Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another important concept that is nothing but two observable function. So what is this two observable utility function? Let's try to have an overview of this one. So two observable is a utility in angular that converts a reactive signal into an observable. So that means if you are having a signal in your angular, if you want to convert that signal into an observable means then you need to use the two observable. This allows us to take the value of a signal which is used in Angular's reactive system and use it with the RxJS operators like switch map, map, etc. Essentially, it lets you to integrate Angular signals with the RxJS. So now let's try to understand the key points of this one. So monitoring the signal changes. So when a signal value changes, the two observable utility tracks the changes using an effect and emits the updated value through the observable. This is helpful for integrating signals with asynchronous streams like HTTP request and another one which you need to understand is the injection context. So let the two observable relies on the injection context. So that means the two observable function will work only in the injection context. That means example a component as a service in the constructor or something like that. If you if there is no automatic injection context then you need to provide an injector manually. So now the next one what I want to tell you is the on subscription. Okay next one is the timing thing. On subscription, the two observable might emit the last known value of the signal immediately if available via a replay subject. Signals don't emit the values. So here, whatever, signals don't emit values synchronously like observables do. Even if you update a signal multiple times in a quick succession, only the last stable value will be emitted. So that means when, when you have used a two observable, the last emitted value only will be sent. So I will try to tell you a detailed explanation with the example. So now, for example, you might want you want to monitor the value of a signal called something like a query or something like service. So let's try to see the simple example for this one. So here we are having this symbol, this one, right? So at the top of the component, let's say that I am having a service. Let's say class query service. Just I will write it here only so that we can able to write it. So I am having a service, something like class query service. And this, this has a value something like query is equal to signal of empty value. So at the starting of this one, so this one is an empty value. Now what I was trying to do. So here it is an empty value, a signals that holds the search query string. So let's go to here into this one. So here what I will try to do it is here I will have a do and in this one I will have an input element input type is equal to text. And here what I can do it is so I want to listen to this value. So that means I can use an input. So just whatever the thing you want, you can use it in G model. So we haven't covered this in G model. So ng model we have covered it, but uh, that those all things we covered. So I will use the input on query change event, sorry, dollar event. It should be dollar event dot target dot value. Okay. So here this is the query change we are having. And here at the bottom, I will try to do the ul. And here I can have an ally. So here we can use the at rate for loop. Okay. For item of item. So let's, let's say that for result of results dollar of async i can have it as an async so track uh, what you can do it is uh, results dot uh, async okay and here you can uh, use something like result only okay so you can use the um, result only as the value and here i will not i will try to do is so i will use the uh, result only here let's see so this is the code which i want to do it so now we need to have these all the values, right? So let's try to have it. So now let's go into here and here I will try to do something like, so here we'll have a query is equal to, so we will inject the query service, query service. And in this one, I will try to take the query value. Okay. So this is our signal thing. So it should be a signal of string. So here you will be able to see component which is a writable signal of string. So correct. It's correct. So now what I want to do is I want to convert this query into an observable. Okay. So query dollar is equal to two observable. So I can use two observable. It should be imported from the angular core RxJS intercorp interop. So here I can pass the query. Okay. I can pass the query. That's it. So now this query dollar is an observable whereas query is a service say a signal. So now let's try to have results. Okay. So results dollar. So I am trying to get the results dollar and this one will be this dot query dollar dot pipe i can use the pipe symbol or anything whichever you want you can use it and here i will be having the switch map okay in this one i will be getting the query okay 
and here I can uh, return something like uh, off of uh, the query value we will be getting it right so I will return the off of query so just I want to show you that we will be returning the um, observable here also so that's it so now here we can use the switch map and all those things just I am trying to explain you here you can use an HTTP signal or something like that so now whenever the query is changed on query change on query change so this is the method and I will be getting the value which is of type string and here what I will do and I will try to set the query dot set of value so there is nothing but value so this is the value I am trying to set so now let's go to the HTML so here everything is been set but here we are getting it as an event or target or otherwise what you can do it is so here we can get it as a dollar event and on query change what we can do it is so I will try to take it as an event only and here I will try to take it as an event so let's keep it as an event and here event dot target okay dot value so here we are not getting as in oh sorry here you can do the type conversion as input element as input element or we need to use an HTML input element okay so this is all you can keep it as something like this and here we need to use the dot value that's it so now here like this also you can do it so because of the type conversion and all this here also you can use the same thing but here I have converted it as an event or event and event dot target which you know that you are getting it as an HTML input element that is nothing but in HTML we know that this is an input element so that is the reason we are getting it this one now what can what we can do it is on query change we got the value so let's try to see the output for this one so here I am refreshing this page okay so right now uh, computer signal dot ts is there app component app computer signal also we are using it let's try to see the inspect element is there any errors or anything okay so here we have no query service uh, no provider for the query service okay so we are injecting the query service and here we are having it okay so let's try to see the output for this one okay so here uh, we need to use the injectable injectable maybe i need to use the injectable i think so we provide it like this let's try to refresh this page still we are getting no provider for the query service so maybe i need to use this one provided in off root okay so let's try to refresh this page maybe now right now i am able to get it so now whenever i try to see the value for this one see here whenever we are we are sending the value we are able to get the output for this one so now this is how the two observable will work so let me try to explain you so here the query service holds a signal query that represents the current search item we want to trigger a search results based on this item so here we are having a query dollar so the which converts the query signal to an observable using the two observable this observable will emit a new value whenever the query signal changes and the result this is an observable that depends on the query dollar it listen to changes query dollar using the and uses the switch map to send an signal so now input handling on query change display of results these all things we have seen it so timing behavior let's focus on the timing aspect if you update a signal value multiple times rapidly only the final stabilized value is emitted so let's try to I will try to explain demonstrate you for example let's say that I will refresh this page and in this console let's say that rapidly I am trying to emit the value here so if I emit the value if you try to see here see now okay so that is a duplicate values for example let's say that um, we are having a, a on query change we are having it right so let's say that uh, on ng on init okay ng on init ng on init okay so now here I want to set the query value this dot query dot set of something like a and I will try to set b and I am setting the values immediately immediately I am setting the values for the signal so that means at the starting time so you will be able to get the value a b c right so now if you try to see the value so here you will be able to see only the c1 so that means here the timing behavior is important so why only the c is logged the two observable waits for the signal to stabilize before emitting the latest value even if you update the signal multiple times in the quick sessions like a set of a b c something like that only the final value c will be emitted once the signal has been stabilized 
So that is the reason you will be able to see only the C option. So you will not see the AB. And then the next one is the injection context. In most cases, the two observable is used within the injection context only, such as inside a component or a service where the angler can inject dependencies. If you are working outside of an injection context means you already know that you need to provide the injector as needed, but this is typically handled automatically on the components. So totally overall in the conclusion, what I want to tell is so two observable provides a bridge between the angular signals and RxJs allowing you to treat signals like observables for more complex and reactive use cases. It helps you react to signal changes asynchronously and stabilizes updates to avoid unnecessary reactivity. In this example, we have sufficiently handled the queries and all those things. So in the CV by using the signal value. Hope you understood about this two observable concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.